we're at that first gate and I think this is where this video is gonna end it's uh too foggy to ride and talk and try to concentrate on stuff It's a huge group today. It's Jesse. Jesse's counting. I can't count that high. There's Garrett. Nick. Till Death Doula Sport. Evan. Dave. Gabe. Tristan. Look at all the people. Let's do this. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Each Adventure Channel. My name is Josh and uh, today we have quite the group here. We got three, four, five in front of me, me, six, and a whole bunch of bikes behind me. Yeah, like I mentioned at the beginning, we got uh, Mr. Nick from Till Death Will Explore. We got Garrett, ADV Light. We got Tristan, uh, Dave, Jesse, and a bunch of people I don't know. But uh, this is a big, big group here. We got all kinds of bikes from Betas to TW200s to Triumph Tigers to KLRs to KTMs and everything in between. This is pretty freaking cool. So as you probably have already guessed, this is one of the uh, Wednesday Flying Monkey Hump Day Rides. We're heading up Bedford Road. This road's been closed pretty much for the majority of the winter just because of the uh, rains and stuff that we've had over here. Oh my god. And so it just opened up over the weekend and figured it'd be a good uh, destination for the Hump Day Ride this week. So. I for one I'm glad because out of all the places that we ride this one is the closest to, to my house so at least after the ride it's not a it's not a 90 mile pavement trek back to where I live which is awesome. Aside from that still should be pretty cool we're gonna head up to the uh, Doppler Tower. Garrett and I and some others are probably gonna continue on to Sierra Peak but uh, I gotta kind of take it easy I'm up here with the faster group but uh, I don't have faster group. <laughs> I don't have faster group tires. My tires have been sliding around. I already dumped a bike once on the way over here. We cut through a little bay area, and on the very first turn, I dropped the bike because my tires slid out. So I already feel the rear sliding around all over the place. Be a little bit slower, but it'd be nicer since I'll be kind of out of the dust, kind of sorta. I'm mostly gonna try to get bikes. Let's see. Let's see what we got. DR. Ah, oh, there he is, Mr. T Dub. Very nice. Oh, <laughs> Oh, it's Tristan! The monkeys! The core monkeys! Dave and Tristan are usually at these every week. They have the uh, nickname of the Monkey Patrol. Tristan, Dave, and Jesse. So Tristan, if you guys don't know, works for Troy Lee Designs. He's a painter and one hell of a good artist. And uh, that monkey patrol is like a sticker that he made and it's got basically like 
animal versions of him, bigger than Jesse. It's pretty cool. If I'll, I'll shine it up on the, the screen here if you guys, if I can find it, an, an image of it. All I have is a, a patch. Uh, but he also did the logo for the Flying Monkeys. He's done logos, I think, for Do ADV. At some point, I'll have him do me a logo, but uh, I have more important financial matters to tend to right now. But I uh, definitely, definitely want to get something done because, like I said, the dude's an amazing artist. Dave is, a, in addition to being a motorcycle guy, he's also a Jeep enthusiast. He's got his own Jeep shop out in Temecula called the Jeep Doctor. So if you guys are in the Temecula area here in Southern California and you have a Jeep, or any car really, I think they're working on other stuff there too, but Jeeps are their specialty. Uh, check him out, the Jeep Doctor. You guys all know Jesse. Jesse runs the Flying Monkey page. He's on YouTube as Geomoto Adventures. And uh, I think Flying Monkey ADV is the official Flying Monkey Instagram, but there's also a Geomoto. That's his more personal one. I love this uphill section because you can actually get quite a bit of speed coming up here. Throttle on, throttle on. Coming up on uh, Mr. Nick here. Mr. Nick is a uh, Tell Death Doula Sport on the YouTubes and the Instagrams, which is probably the coolest kind of social media dual sporty name that's out there. Really cool dude. I've never ridden with him before. We chat every once in a while on social media. I mean, I've always talked about planning a ride, but uh, schedules just haven't lined up. But now the schedules have lined up. Obviously. Ooh, oh, gotta hold that. Hold that. Man, my rear tire is done. I just every every turn, it's just sliding. So and add that to the fact that this bike has a heck of a lot more power than my Honda did. You know, riding on this loose gravelly stuff. Good. Huh? Yeah, it's all good. Okay. gonna hit a uh, fog and stuff I figured to be a little bit higher up oh it's, I'm not gonna be able to see anything man Woo, it's chilly up here misty it's like it's like wet misty too I can't see freaking anything I can't see, dude. There's another time we came up here too where it got kind of foggy like this towards the end of the ride, but it wasn't so bad. I could still see. I'm, I'm having a lot of trouble seeing right now, like a lot. I can't see anything, man. <laughs> it's like thick, like wet. Yeah. Yeah. Friday. Yeah. This fogged up until I opened my yeah. thing, and then my glasses got all misty. <laughs> it's like, oh. oh my God! I cannot see. Yeah, this is not the spot where you don't want to see very well because right here to the left is like super cliff. It's really bad. There's a lot of cliffs on this mountain, but that, one, that one's probably one of the worst. So, I'm trying to see the best I can here. Oh, no, no. 
is freaking horrible, man. It's like raining. It's so wet. Yeah, this is uh, pretty wet. I'm like wiping my visor is not doing anything. Wiping my glasses doesn't seem to be doing anything either. So this one's gonna be slow and wet and cold, guys. Hope you guys are all right with that. I can't see anything. Oh, yeah, it's like fogging up inside, but then it's foggy out. To, like I, it, it gets all blurry. Like I can't like this. I can barely see. I just go really slow. Yeah, I'm having a hard time seeing. But like I was saying, uh, because of these mountains and our proximity to the ocean. Uh, we're only about 20 miles or so from the ocean, so during the evenings and at night, the marine layer blows in off the ocean and just rolls over these mountains. But I've been up here a bunch of times and it's never been this, this bad. I feel like we're riding in the rain. We're at that first gate and I think this is where this video is gonna end. It's uh, too foggy to ride and talk and try to concentrate on stuff. Oh man. This is wet I'm wet but anyways guys I think this is gonna about wrap this up uh, I don't think I'm gonna record anymore I'm just gonna focus on not crashing down one of these cliff sides because uh, I can hardly see and uh, if the camera wetness is any indication of how I can see right now then multiply that by I don't know 30 because I can barely see oh there's people coming up You go back? See ya! Yeah, I don't blame him, man. Pretty crazy. I never want to turn back, and I almost want to turn back. Just because I can't see more than like six feet in front of me. Well, like I said, guys, I think I am going to wrap this one up. I'll uh, probably record a little bit, especially if I get behind anybody, get some good footage. But uh, as of right now, I think I'm just going to focus on uh, not dying. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, I appreciate you riding along with me today. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. If you're new here, please subscribe. We like to do adventures like this usually on a weekly basis and I'd love to have you along for the ride but anyways guys until next time be sure to have fun take care and ride safe and I'll see you guys in the next video till then be sure to get out there and have adventures of your own and I will see you guys next time Later. Oh, don't get cocky it's gonna get rocky Oh. Got a little cocky. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked what you saw, please let me know down in the comments and don't forget to hit that like button. If you are new here, please subscribe to see more adventures just like this one. For information about my riding gear or the various ways you can help support the channel, 
please check out the links below or head over to www.eachadventure.com. I'll see you in the next one.